What happens when you merge quantum physics with genetic engineering while well, biology has evolved over billions of years to efficiently collect or harvest sunlight and transport energy? If you can do the same with a virus by genetically engineering a virus to go in and change its DNA sequence, which codes for the proteins to make it up, we can specifically modify viruses to more efficiently transport energy. One type is called a classical forester bacteria phage. The second is a super forester or a quantum phage. So we can go in and make modifications in the amino acid sequence such that these chromophores or these light absorbing molecules are at specific locations that are more optimal for energy transport along the length of the virus. So in the classical Forster case, the classical virus, the excitons or these mobile excited states hop from one location to the other. But in the quantum state or the super Forster state, these excitons have a more efficient path than they do in the classical state. Ultimately, what happens is that photon strikes the surface of a virus, an exciton is created and is transported down the length of the virus. In the case of the quantum virus or the super Forster virus, that exciton travels 68% farther with greater than two times faster transport kinetics. So how could this quantum virus be used? Well, one day it might be possible to use this virus to more efficiently collect and transport energy for solar cell applications as well as catalysis.